Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is about previewing some of the stuff that I have in the hoppers uh, or on the back burner that I'm working on. And I just wanted to show you them to let you know they're coming out. And uh, I don't really have a time frame, but you know, I think it'll be uh, weeks, weeks to months and not years. <laughs> uh, probably like you'll probably see this in a couple of months. Um, right now I'm working through this hip roof and it's, uh, I'm, just, I'm doing it completely manually. In other words, like, uh, Instead of doing measurements, I'm going to be cutting cutting these pieces with a uh, draft cutting plane, and that uh, for me it helps me understand what I need to do. Um, on a different uh, note, I'm working on a workbench. I'd like to eventually do a video on how to create a workbench, so I'm working through uh, something that I think will be useful for me um, with things that I create regularly. And you see, I have a, a couple of tools rudimentarily uh, implemented. I have a linkage. That's this one right here. So I find I'm con I was uh, commonly doing, uh, you know, this sort of bar with two holes at the either, either end of it. Um, now there's, this is not, none of these are difficult, but um, I was just finding that they were, you know, because they were repetitive, I thought, hey, why don't I just, you know, do macros? And then I thought uh, the easiest way to uh, get macros to execute is when they're in a workbench. Because, uh, you know, even though we have a macro toolbar, it's clumsy to get it working. And then when I, I found when I add a macro to one of these, uh, it often get it often disappears when I update or whatever. And you know, that might be a function that I'm always using the dev version. So uh, I have a centered square. Uh, this one's this one's almost completely done. Uh, mostly because it's simple. But basically, what it is, is it's uh, it uses Oh, I guess I guess I haven't done that yet. <laughs> it's not done. Um, you know, it's centered around uh, you know this the origin point and it has measurements built in I found myself often creating a square adding measurements and centering it into the into the coordinate system so I thought it'd be easier if I just had one click to do that um, now so one of, some of the reasons why these aren't finished is uh, the code that works in a macro has to be tweaked to work in a workbench so I had this working perfectly in a macro but now that it's in a workbench uh, it has to tw I have to tweak it a little bit um, and it, the, the workbench code does not play nice with constraints. I haven't figured that out yet. So then I have something called holes, and that's basically, I'm gonna do two of these. One's just gonna be holes, and one's gonna be posts. And that's for creating holes and posts in a, uh, in a case for any kind of electronics. Uh, I found myself doing this frequently as I was developing like a case for an Arduino or a case for a Node MCU or whatever. Uh, sawtooth. Uh, this one I've only done a couple of times, and I don't really know if it's. But you know, this would be good for like clip, any kind of clips or pliers or something like that. And there might there might be ways to do variants like a soft edge or or do, have it do both sides of of the um, sawtooth that are going to meet. And then I just had this one called plus, and I don't know why I did this one. I I just thought it was interesting, I, and I've done it once once before, but I think it it might be nice to uh, you know have that. So actually, if you have any ideas for shapes that you might want to include on this, you can let me know and I might do that. So then uh, outside of FreeCAD, I have something going on in Blender. Um, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not very good at Blender at all. I'm a novice, but I, you know, and I, but I always do like to share my approach in things as I'm learning them because I think it, you know, I think it lends to um, meeting the novice at their level. I know I've noticed some things as I get better at things, it's harder to talk to at the novice's level. So I try to do these things when I'm a novice. Oops. And you see my, this is, I'm on my really slow desktop instead of my much faster laptop. Um, but you know, this continues my brick series. Uh, and the neat thing about, the interesting thing about Blender is it's a very different design strategy than, uh, you know, like a, uh, a regimented free cat, uh, regimented CAD program with dimensions and everything. But you can, you know, this is dimensionally accurate, and I used, I, I built it on dimensions, um, and and I did discover some tricks that make that approach a little easier. So I hope you join me to, to see these in the future, and I hope, uh, you know, that uh, you enjoy my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you if you aren't. Click the alarm bell, and uh, keep an eye out for my Patreon account. I'm going to try to open one of those to try to to make this a sustainable uh, endeavor for myself. So have a great day and. Uh, I hope to see you again.